we can discuss about enzyme linked immunosorbent assay or elisa so what is elisa it's an commonly used analytical biochemistry chemistical assay and this is a more rapid method than western blot analysis to detect a specific protein in cell tissue organ or body fluid and what is the advantage of elisa it do not require the fragmentation by using gel electrophoresis when compared with the southern bloating or western bloating that is one of the most important advantage of elisa here we does not require to fractionate or fractionation of sample by gel electrophoresis and this is uh, based on the property of protein to readily bind to the plastic surface and the elisa technique is usually done in uh, micro uh, polystyrene uh, plates micro wells so the ability of this proteins uh, to bind with the plastic surface is used for the elisa test and what are the different uh, application or uses of elisa it can be used for the detecting or as well as quantifying the substance such as peptide protein antibodies and hormones so these are the different uses now what is the principle of elisa elisa is typically performed in 96 well polystyrene plates appo adinu vendiṭa special aayṭa design cheyidṭulla polystyrene ennu varna material kondu design cheyidṭulla cheriya cheriya holes galulla oru plate aanu 96 well galulla oru plate vechittana sadharana nammal elisa perform cheyarullathu then uh, in this the serum is incubated in well and each well containing different serum and a positive control serum and a negative control serum would be included among 96 well being tested appo nammal ini edu test parayanengilum ee positive controlum negative controlum nammal aa test inde procedure il parayunnilla pakshe adu nammal use cheyunnundu ennalladu manasilakka then antibody or antigen present in the serum are captured by corresponding antigen or antibody coated on the solid surface after some time the plate is washed to remove the serum an unbonded antibody or antigen with a series of wash buffer adin nammulu endinaano detect cheynadu adinte nere opposite ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഏജന്റ് കൊണ്ടാണ് ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുക ആന്റിജനെ ഡിറ്റക്ട് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ആന്റിബോഡി ആയിരിക്കും ആദ്യം നമ്മൾ ഈ പ്ലേറ്റിൽ എടുക്കുക ആന്റിബോഡിനെയാണ് ഡിറ്റക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ആദ്യം ആന്റിജനെ ആയിരിക്കും നമ്മൾ ഈ പ്ലേറ്റിൽ ആദ്യം കോട്ട് ചെയ്യുക അപ്പോൾ ഇങ്ങനെ ക്ലോട്ട് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം അതിന് അതിൻ്റെ കമ്പോണൻറ്റ് എന്താണോ നമ്മളെ സാമ്പിൾ അതുമായിട്ട് ഇൻക്യുബേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും ഇൻക്യുബേറ്റ് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം അൺബോണ്ടഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള മെറ്റീരിയലിനെ റിമൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ ഈ ബഫർ യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് വാഷ് ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ ടു ഡിറ്റക്ട് ദ ബൗണ്ട് ആൻറ്റിബോഡി ഓർ ആൻറ്റിജൻ secondary antibody that are attached to an enzyme such as alkaline phosphatase or radish peroxidase or beta galactosidase are coated to each well after incubation period the unbonded secondary metabolites are washed off then the suitable substrate is added so that the enzyme will react to produce a color the color produced is measurable as a function of quantity of antigen or antibody present in the sample in density of the color or optical density is measured at 450 nanometer by using colorimetry and the intensity of color gives indication of the amount of the antigen or antibody pe endinaano detect cheynadu ee adile namukku oru antigen anengil antigen detect cheynadu anengil aadhi nammal or antibody edukanam then nammal antigen containing sample kodukanam adinu shesham ഒരു ആൻറ്റിബോഡി കണ്ടെയ്നിങ് ലാബൽഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എൻസൈമ് കൊടുക്കണം അതിനുശേഷം ഒരു കളറിംഗ് ഏജൻറ്റ് ആഡ് ചെയ്യണം ഈ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന കളർ എത്രത്തോളം ആണ് എന്നുള്ളത് ഫോർ ഫിഫ്റ്റി നാനോമീറ്ററിലാണ് നമ്മൾ മെഷർ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഓക്കെ നൗ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് എലൈസ ആൻഡ് ദ ടൈപ്സ് ഈസ് മെയിൻലി ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദ ബൈൻഡിങ് സ്ട്രക്ചർ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ ആൻറ്റിബോഡി ആൻഡ് ആൻറ്റിജൻ അപ്പൊ അതിന് ബേസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് ഈ ടൈപ്പ് നമ്മൾ ക്ലാസിഫൈ ചെയ്യുന്നത് ദെർ ആർ ത്രീ ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് എലൈസ indirect elisa which is used to detect antibody sandwich elisa which is used to detect antigen and competitive elisa which is used to measure the concentration of antigen so these are the different types of elisa now let's discuss one by one first one is indirect elisa 
and this is used to detect the antibody and the different procedure involved are the first step is the micro titer plates are well coated with the antigen for example for detection of HIV antibody first we have to coat the micro filter plate with an antigen purified inactivated HIV antigen so after coating that the plate with the antigen all the unbounded sites are blocked to prevent the false positive result then the serum containing antibody in the ano nam detect end of the serum and the signal adana namal eduka the rabbit monoclonal antibody or the test serum diluted in buffer is added in well and incubated at 37 degrees celsius then the plate is washed so that unbounded antibody is removed so here one antigen and antibody is treated so there will be an antigen antibody reaction so if there is any unbounded antibody in order to remove that one we will wash this plate then we will add a secondary antibody which is conjugated to the enzyme okay which is conjugated to enzyme like anti mouse antigen or goat anti human immunoglobulin conjugated with host radish peroxidase A. then the plate is again washed so that the unbounded enzyme linked antibodies are removed then as coloring substance or substance like ortho phenylene diamine dihydrochloride is added which is which are converted by the enzyme to produce a colored compound the color compound or color product is produced between the reaction of the substrate with the enzyme so if there is in any color of uh, is produced it indicate the presence of that antibody in the sample but in any other number indirect as elisa test to change the antibody in a detector i made it to the normal item or antigen a good account then or a normal serum and then antibody containing sample would come in other note or a secondary antibody which is conjugated with enzyme usually host radish peroxidase enzyme i to conjugate to change the trailer either antigen or specific i to the dano i think there is secondary antibody number to come then with a substrate like ortho penilin diamine dihydrochloride so that there will be a formation of color only when there is an binding with the antigen and antibody occur so this is the uh, diagrammatic representation of indirect elisa here uh, when antigen is coated then we will add with an primary antibody then we will incubate then we will wash then we will add an uh, antibody which is conjugated with an enzyme then we will add an coloring agent or cro chromogen substrate so that if this antigen antibody complex is formed it will produce a color otherwise it will not produce a color adana ivadalla vyathasam nu parayunnathu ivide namakku detect cheyanda antigen sorry antibody ne aanu nammal detect cheyunnathu അതിന് സ്പെസിഫിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആന്റിജൻ ആണ് ആദ്യം നമ്മളെ സോളിഡ് പ്ലേറ്റിൽ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുള്ളത് അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുള്ള ആന്റിജന് സ്പെസിഫിക് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആന്റിബോഡി സാമ്പിളിൽ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ ആന്റിജൻ ആന്റിബോഡി റിയാക്ഷൻ നടക്കുകയുള്ളൂ അങ്ങനെ ആണെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ എൻസൈം ലിങ്ക്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആന്റിബോഡി ഇതുമായിട്ട് ബൈൻഡ് ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ അതിലോട്ട് കളറിംഗ് ഏജന്റ് ആഡ് ചെയ്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മാത്രമേ അവിടെ കളർ ഫോം ചെയ്യുള്ളൂ ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഇൻഡയറക്ട് എലൈസ മെത്തേഡ് പ്രൊസീജിയർ now what are the advantages of indirect elisa it have an increased sensitivity uh, more than one labeled antibody is bonded per the primary antibody uh, there are wide variety of labeled secondary antibodies are av available in commercially maximum immune reactivity of the primary antibody is retained because it is not labeled this indirect uh, indirect elisa method is versatile because may uh, many primary antibody can be made in one species and same labeled secondary antibody can be used for the detection flexibility uh, since the different primary detection antibody can be used with a single labeled secondary antibody and this method is cost saving because a fewer labeled antibody are required for the indirect elisa test different visualization marker are used with the same primary antibodies now what are the disadvantages there is an cross reactivity may occur with the secondary antibody which will result in non specific signaling and extra incubational step is required in the procedure so these are the different 
disadvantages of indirect ELISA. Now coming to the second type of ELISA that is sandwich ELISA and which is usually done to detect antigen. So antigen is detected in the plate antibody. Okay. So the steps are surface is prepared to which a known uh, quantity of antibody is added and allowed to buy. Usually goat, uh, this is an example for uh, sandwich eraser method, we will use goat rotavirus antibody. Then the antigen containing sample, fecal sample to be tested is added uh, to the plate and incubated overnight at 4 degrees Celsius or 2 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. Then the plate is washed so that the unbounded antigen is removed. Then an enzyme linked antibody like guinea pig rotavirus antiserum labeled with alkaline phosphatase is added and there are also specific to antigen and then it is incubated at 37 degrees Celsius. Then the plate is washed, then the unbounded enzyme linked antibodies are removed and substrate like para nitro phenylene phosphate is added and which is converted by the enzyme to produce an yellow color. So when this goat uh, rotavirus antibody react with the antigen which is present in the sample, then only it will produce this yellow color. So uh, if there is an yellow color, it indicates the presence of antigen in given sample. So that is the sandwich ELISA. Antibody on platelet capture another, then we will add an antigen, then another antibody which is labeled with alkaline phosphatase, then we will add an coloring agent. So, only if this antigen or this antibody is bind with the antigen in order to form an antigen antibody complex, then only it will produce an yellow color. Okay, so that is the sandwich ELISA. Now, what are the advantages of sandwich ELISA? Uh, this is highly specific since two antibodies are used, uh, the antigen is specifically captured and detected. It is suitable for complex samples since the antigen does not require the purification prior to the measurement and this is uh, there is a flexibility and sensitivity since both direct and indirect de detection method can be used. Now coming to the last type of uh, ELISA that is competitive ELISA and it is mainly used to measure the concentration of antigen in a sample. And the different steps are, first antibody is incubated with the sample containing antigen. Then the antigen antibody complex are added to a micro titer well and which is pre-coated with antigen. Then the plate is washed to remove unbounded antibody. Then an enzyme linked secondary antibody which is specific to the primary antibody is added. Then again the plate is washed then so that the unbounded enzyme linked antibodies are removed and then substrate added which is converted by the enzyme into fluorescent signal. So that is the uh, steps for competitive ELISA. But here we have to measure the concentration of antigen. So the intensity of color formed during this signal is measured by using different spectrophotometric method to determine the concentration of antigen in a sample. Okay. So this is the uh, difference between direct ELISA, indirect ELISA, sandwich ELISA and competitive ELISA. In direct ELISA we will directly use an antigen, an antibody and coloring substance. In indirect ELISA we will uh, first we will use an antigen, then a primary antibody, then a secondary antibody which is labeled with an enzyme then it will give a color and in case of uh, sandwich ELISA first we will coat with an antibody then uh, we will uh, give the sample which containing anti antigen then we will add an uh, complementary or uh, secondary antibody which containing uh, enzyme it will may produce some color. So this is the main difference between different types of ELISA. So that is all about ELISA. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching.